Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piro. Today we are going to be looking at clacking of um, chronic leg ulcer. These are the questions you should ask in a patient in an exam situation when the patient has chronic leg ulcer. Don't forget to use lay terms that the patient can relate with. And don't forget to use close-ended questions so that you can be able to manage your time. Now we want to know the age of the patient. We want to know the occupation of the patient. And this, this can give us pointers as to the etiology. We also, also want to know the onset when the um, ulcer started, how it has progressed, and we also want to know the site of the ulcer. Is it unilateral or bilateral? Still on the site, we want to know if the, the ulcer is on the dosa surface of the foot or on the plantar surface. Since we know that plantar ulcers are mostly neuropathic, why dosa ulcers are usually um, um, vascular? Even in the dosal aspect, you want to know if it is lateral. Lateral ulcers are usually of arterial origin, while medial ulcers are usually of venous origin. You want to also know if there's been discoloration of the leg and the skin. You also want to know if there's been loss of sensation, numbness or tingling sensation in the affected limb. You also want to know if there's been, is there, if there's any discharge from the ulcer and the color and the odor of that particular discharge. These questions will help you narrow down on the ulcer in itself. However, for the etiology, these are the questions you should ask. You want to ask for history of fever, history of trauma or swelling of that limb. That can give you a pointer towards osteomyelitis as a cause. You want to ask for the genotype of the patient and history suggestive of sickle cell diseases. Um, sickle cell ulcers are also chronic. You want to know if the, if the patient has had um, urethritis, urethral discharge, um, genital rash and if there is history of multiple sexual partners with unprotected sexual intercourse since syphilis is also a cause of um, chronic leg ulcers. You also want to know if the patient has been having chronic cough, losing weight and having drenching night sweat or having contact with patient, other people who have been chronically coughing since tuberculosis ulcers are also a cause of chronic leg ulcers. You also want to know if there is a history of weight loss, anorexia and anemia. This will give you a pointer as to um, if the ulcer is a malignant ulcer. Also, you want to ask if the patient has been having polyuria, polyphagia, polydipsia, or if, if it is a known diabetic if he has been compliant with their medication. And you want to know if the patient has had poorly treated leg ulcers in the past before. So these are the questions you should ask to give you an idea of the etiology of um, the chronic leg ulcer. Don't forget, trauma is always the last cause when you are discussing in a medical world. It's important for you to also know the Wegner classification of diabetic foot ulcers. This is a common question that usually comes in the OSCIL as well as even in your theoretical part of the exam. The staging is from 0 to 5. 0 is when there is no foot ulcer, however, the foot is at risk. 1 is when there is superficial ulcer. 2 is when there is a deep ulcer going as far as the joint capsule. 3 is stage 2, which is deep ulcer going as far as the joint capsule with abscess formation and infection of the joint capsule. 4 is when there is limited necrosis of the foot and 5 is when there is necrosis of the whole foot. There will be another video to show a detailed examination of the foot. There will be also other videos to show clacking of other common symptoms and examinations that are usually common in your exams. 